welcome back to Joe's Garage. And so we're here. We assembled yesterday this lowly cart, which I have to tell you, fits nicely in that corner right here. I can still get by when I got to walk through my car. Um, I'm going to be organizing it for detailing materials, cleaners, products, uh, chamois, drying cloths, mitts, blah, blah, blah. So I'll show you what that looks like in a little bit, but I uh, just wanted to show you this. So it's on wheels. Rolls. As long as I don't smash it into my garage uh, sensor there. Uh, I think it was 69 bucks Amazon. Metal construction, not the most durable, but I mean, it's just going to hold some products. So it's got a nice little handle over here. You can see that right here. So you can push it around like a cart. But uh, I'm going to be unboxing some of these things in a minute and I'll show you what that looks like. All right, so here we are. We're going to do some of the unboxing. I ordered a bunch of cleaning products, detailing products, from a website that you're probably familiar with if you're in the car business, I guess, from Obsessed Garage, okay? They do a really good job, or he does a really good job, of uh, investigating, trying, sampling, and doing things. So I bought a different product, uh, a bunch of products that he has, and uh, let's go through some of what those are. So. First thing we got was Brake Buster. Um, for those of you with Z51 uh, packages, you know already, probably if you've driven the car two miles, that you will get an excessive amount of brake dust. So this helps to uh, protect your wheels, break down that brake dust, get it off pretty safely. I personally changed out my brake pads. I did the Carbo Ceramic from Carbotec, but if you have the regular Z51, or if you have just regular brake pads that create a lot of brake dust, this is supposed to be very helpful. So that's one thing that we had purchased. The next thing that we had gotten is GSF. Okay, so this is a gentle snow foam. This is uh, a really good product, supposedly for uh, it's pH neutral. Um, you, you spray it on your car with your cannon, lets all the dirt start to emulsify, break up, and then drip off. So this is a really good product for that. Uh, let's see what else we got here. A bunch of our spray nozzles. Can't have too many of those. Tire dressing. Okay. So I bought this because uh, I've used things like Creo and other stuff, and it seems pretty good. But I'm not sure if uh, this is better. It's supposedly if you do proper uh, cleaning and proper preparation, you can get your tires to shine and look really good for a lot longer. So we got the tire dressing product over here. All right, so the next product that I'm going to unveil is the Keys 3 Sever, the 91MN914 Rinseless Wash. This is supposed to be exceptionally good where Basically, you dilute this, spray this on. It's like a uh, like an instant detailer for just you know fingerprints in your car or something you want to clean off real quick. But we can actually use to wash your car. This is going to be an excellent product. And by the way, I am putting them on my car, which is PPF, so I'm not really worried about scratching or doing anything crazy on there. Um, here's something else that we got from Obsessed Garage. This is supposed to be really good. In fact, this is basically your, like your SiO2, uh, but you put this on while the car is drying and then you chamois or dry it off. And supposedly this gives a really nice coat. It also helps with the drying, helps remove or reduce water spots uh, and keeps it great. Keeps on any glass trim, whatever it is. Okay, so this is a drying aid. And of course, we got a handy dandy blend container here to make the right ratios of product so some of them need to be diluted uh, this helps you do that um, I don't know, like five, ten bucks, but worth making sure you got everything accurate in there here's something else we got this is a small detail brush I got a small detail brush just to get into small areas crevices places etc for detailing um, we also got a couple of these uh, foam color blocks to apply some of the product. This is supposed to be very helpful. Uh, what else we got here? The 
so exciting. Try to control yourself at home. So. All right. This is something that I thought was important and something that most people overlook. Uh, this is leather protector. So this is uh, one of the products that nourishes, protects pigmented, pigmented smooth leather with also UV protection. So I have a convertible. And what you don't realize, especially because I'm in South Florida where the sun is exceptionally intense during certain parts of the year, this will not only help clean but protect the leather from drying out, uh, keep its nice color, and keep from oxidizing from the sun. Um, many of you may not know, but there are certain colors that oxidize very easily in the sun. From what I've been told, red and silver when it comes to paint, uh, I imagine also interiors the effect also so this is a microfiber madness this is an ultra thick wash pad this is an excel wash pad and so i've watched a bunch of videos so a lot of people have mitts and things like that this is a pad you can put your hand in use your soapy water and then use this to gently clean without using a lot of pressure so you don't scratch anything and then keep rinsing and using this with the good ph balanced soapy water this is supposed to be awesome so i end up getting two of these these are going to make detailing and cleaning the car much, much easier. So we've got those. Um, and that's it from this company. All right, last but not least, G Technique. Smart Surface Science is another company I bought some products from. Um, their products are actually a little less expensive, and they do amazing uh, work. And the videos on YouTube also are excellent from this company. Um, it's worked with several professional detailers, and they've said, oh, yeah, they're great products. So one thing that we did get from them was called Perfect Glass. So what this does is it actually cleans the glass, but also creates a protective layer and supposedly does something with like a positive ionic, uh, I don't know, uh, it, it repels dust and dirt, right? And then quick detailer. So here's another spray bottle. And I'm gonna be trying this versus this to see if there's one that works better than another for, you know, fingerprints, uh, a bird dropping, something that goes in your car, you don't want to wash the whole car, you want to just clean it, something like this to get that off uh, in a quick and concise manner. And also, iron fallout remover. Um, a lot of guys online say this is necessary. I don't know if this is necessary, but from there's iron deposits and things that come up from road debris, from road dust, brake dust, and other stuff, and this helps to break it down. Uh, it doesn't smell very good from what I understand. But it'll actually grab a hold of those metals, pull them off of your paint so that it doesn't affect your paint. So those are the products that we got right now, um, of course, with a ton of microfiber towels to make this procedure of keeping your car detailed and clean an easy one. Um, and that's it. So thanks for watching. And keep your car clean because it's much easier to keep it clean than to make it clean if you've been neglected for a long time. All right. Take care. All right, so I wanted to go over a couple more products that I've been using in my batch. First of all, I got this brush to help clean off tires, um, hopefully without scratching these. I've got a foam can, and of course, uh, this is another product. I haven't put it on yet, but uh, Anthony at uh, The Perfectionist says that Sonax, this is a really good thing to put on as far as the coating goes. Um, I've got this as you may have seen in some of my other videos to get the rubber adhesive off when you track your car and it works amazingly well at getting stuff off um this is a product that i really don't use on the car but you can for certain things it's called la's totally awesome it gets off a lot of crap um i haven't used it on the vet yet but i do have it here if i need to use it in the garage i also have a detail brush it's like something you want to shave with um that's over here mounted on my handy dandy cart uh, a couple other things that i have in here um, that i did not mention previously i've got instant detailer to use with some clay barring i have not needed to clay bar this car um, I'm hoping not to because i have a ceramic coating on there as well as the ppf um, a couple of things to by the way i forgot where i got this thing this is great it's a handle that you use so you can get into your windshield um you know without getting fingerprints or marks on your dashboard it's works really well actually here's a couple other items i've used uh on my other car underdog i use some of their coating with this 
applicator. I've used some SiO2 stuff, ceramic shield I've used. I've used Torque. Uh, I've also used their graphene stuff. Um, yeah, you know, they all work pretty well. I mean, none of them are foolproof, but they all work pretty well. Um, I've also got here a bottle of 50-50 rubbing alcohol and 50-50 water. And sometimes I'd use that to clean stuff off the car and get it off uh, the chiff. Now, these are large drying towels. I bought a bunch of these so that you can literally throw it over the car and then just pull it across or dry. But these towels here, these I bought on Amazon, these dry things really, really well. Stack of uh, microfiber. I have a Chemical Guys car wash. I've used this. This is actually pretty good. Um, and I use socks. It's a good little tip. Old pair of socks that have been washed. Um, I use this to apply the tire dressings. Um, Creotes, I've used that. You can use this to rub it on the tire. That way you don't ruin one of your microfiber uh, towels. Um, this right here, this is awesome. This is... Uh, Oh, let me take it out of the package. Let's let's un let's unpack. This is a cleaning glove that I use. Um, it's a microfiber cleaning glove. It says interior exterior. I use it for doing my wheels. Um, it's really nice. You get this soapy. You can use it as a glove. Literally grab where your fingers can go and get into all those nooks and crannies and crevices, uh, especially on wheels. I've also got these chamois. I don't know. That came with the uh, drying towel. I also want a couple of these. This is another washing glove. It's a smaller mitt than my big microfiber madness ultra thick washing pad um, or the Incredit pad. But uh, I've got a couple of these. I haven't used them yet because I've been using my Incredit pad and really liking it. It works really, really well. But that you can actually get your entire hand in. So that's what's going on on this cart as far as cleaning products go, as far as. Uh, Things that make my car shine. So there's a bunch of detailing stuff. More videos to come. Like, share, subscribe. It helps the algorithm. It helps you. It helps me. It helps us all get more good Corvette car taking care of stuff. Algorithms. Or something like that.